And that would also be the fun thing online is, is to see if people try to sleuth out a way because they like this guy. Uh, All right, Stash Daddy, let's speculate wildly. What's going on, my friends? What a crazy ride we recently went on with Picard Season 3. I suppose I should mention right now that there will be spoilers ahead for that series. With fan demand running fairly high right now, it seems pretty likely that some version of a Star Trek Legacy-ish show will happen one day. This video isn't to go into all the ins and outs on that possibility, but purely to toss an idea into the waters as to how Liam Shaw could return in that series. I've already seen a few ideas, some of which I prefer more than others. Both Brian at the Popcast and Joe at Star Trek Late Night seem to think the best course of action would be a holographic solution. I do kind of like this plan. However, they do have different courses as to how this would occur. And the Shaw holodeck could be great because they could talk and he could be like, so by the way, how did I how did I die exactly? Was it your fault? I don't know how they can bring him back, but he's just somebody we need in Star Trek. So. Yeah. Emerg um, emergency that. engineer hologram activate i've also come across the mirror universe angle i'm not sure how this would play out in the show but it would be kind of a fun twist to discover that shaw himself was a really friendly and bubbly guy in the mirror universe simply because he never had that run in with the borg here's why i'm going to disagree with these ideas while still thinking they are pretty good and would work out none of these directly bring back the same character a hologram created from Shaw's personality and whatnot would, in essence, provide us as the audience with the same character, but it would never truly be him. I would prefer a world in which we got the actual original recipe Shaw back into the show. This, to me, would provide the best chance to have character development and growth. It would also provide the best chance to resolve things and, in some cases, comment on the events which occurred in this season of Picard. So, how am I proposing to do this? Well, I want to go through a two-fold solution here. One piece is added strictly based upon the recently revealed Section 31 movie. This would not be my ideal choice, but I think we could use what we already have to accomplish the same goal. If you remember from my previous reviews, I was big on the idea of Shaw being resurrected through Borg nanoprobe intervention. This is something we saw to be possible through Seven on Voyager, most notably with Neelix. Now more on why I think that would be good later in this video. While we did not see this take place on screen within Picard Season 3, it's very possible that it occurred off screen, especially since there was a pretty immediate one-year time jump shortly after the day was won. Herein lies possibilities that were unforeseen just a few weeks ago. With Section 31 going into filming later this year, there is still plenty of time to work that story into its final form. What if that story were to reintroduce Liam Shaw? As it stands, it seems as if Section 31 will be the wrap-up story for the Giorgio arc, while at the same time introducing new elements which could be expanded upon in later shows. Here is my pitch for allowing Shaw to return in that movie with the added story potential that I pitched back in my Seven of Nine resurrection plan. Section 31 has a history of questionable activities and research. Hell, half the problems in Season 3 of Picard were caused by their experiments with the Changelings. Ethics, as well as my personal opinions aside, this is what they do, so I'm running with it. We also saw in this very season of Picard the body of James T. Kirk with a description of Project Phoenix being housed within the Section 31 facility of Daystrom Station. I won't presume to assume, and <laughs> I do like the way that sounded, that this Project Phoenix is the exact same version of the one that we saw in the Shatnerverse novels. However, I am figuring that it's probably intended to be along similar lines. Let's just say it still involves the Borg nanoprobe element. Let's also assume that James T. Kirk is quite the valuable asset and one that they would not want to risk to a potentially untested treatment. So in order to perfect the process of this rebirth, they would need, dare I say, a lesser subject on whom to practice. What better test subject to use at this point in time than Liam Shaw, a mid-level Starfleet captain recently killed in a major conflict who was also involved in uncovering all of the secrets and the lies behind the plot. Probably now being hailed as a fallen hero, if this revival works, that status could be used to their advantage, heralding in a new dawn for Starfleet medical research. It could also provide Section 31 with someone to fill them in on all the details surrounding how Daystrom Station was infiltrated. If it fails, well, no harm, no foul, and they haven't lost Kirk. The plot of Section 31 isn't really relevant here. It's simply a springboard to introduce us to the experiment. Maybe Shaw is a key player in the film, or maybe it just brings the experiment to light and allows him to continue afterwards. 
Either way, let's say the experiment works and Shaw returns. He's now been brought back using means from the very bane of his existence. Not only has he been dealing with the Borg trauma most of his adult life, but now he has also recently been killed by their final plot. This, to me, is the clearest reason as to why he should be revived using this means. Whether it's Section 31 or the more clear-cut 7 of 9 nanopro plan, this is the meaty means for future character development. To now be so intrinsically linked to the very thing he hates most. Imagine all of the fun interactions we could see with a jaded, salty man. Think of the conversation when he first finds out that it was Borg Tech that brought him back. Imagine the comedic gold when he discovers that his old ship has been renamed in his absence. In my mind, that would be a fantastic reintroduction to the character. All that acerbic personality and wit coming back in full force. Now, how he would fit into the dynamics of the show are a bit more unclear. Since Seven is now the captain of the G, formerly Titan, it isn't as simple as slotting him back into command with her as his XO. Perhaps it's a bit too fanficy of me, but why not have a plot where more than one ship are sent out together? Perhaps Shaw is given command of an older type vessel, something that was never integrated into the Borg compromised fleet formation. But I can't do all of the work for the writers. This video was just to give a brief idea for bringing back the Stash Man. All of this speculation is not taking into account the different showrunners involved. In a perfect world, all of these things would be overseen by a single person behind the scenes. So, since we don't have a confirmed future Terry Metalis Trek, or even an inkling that they wish to continue in the 25th century, this may be far-fetched. But what do you think? Do you want Captain Shaw to come back, or would that undercut a sacrifice? Did you never even like the character to begin with? How would you bring him back if you had your way? Leave all your ideas and thoughts down below, and as always, like, share, subscribe, and do all those splendid YouTube things, and until next time, I can take anything you dish out.